I got no intro today. <laughs> I just like this song. Grab the G string on the 11th fret. You might not believe me at first, but just hang in there. You're gonna pluck it five times, and on the fifth time, you're gonna slide quickly from 11 to 13. One, two, three, four, five. Then you're gonna go down to the 10th fret. You're gonna pluck it four times. One, two, three, four, five. And the fifth pluck on the same rhythm is the eighth fret of the G string. So. 11th fret, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, slide up to 13, 10th fret, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, down to the 8th fret, and then we're going to grab the D string in the 9th fret, and on the same rhythm that we did the 11th and 13th fret, it's going to be 9 and 11, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then down 4 plucks on the 8th fret, 1, 2, Repeat. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. You can do the whole thing with one finger, but hit your delay pedal and it happens. Ready? This is great. without explaining everything there is to explain. There is an amazing chord progression going on here as well. And while they play it with capo six, because they're going in to float on, of course, I prefer to think about it without a capo on. What you're gonna do is take a D shape and play it on six and seven. That makes it a D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp. Give those some plucks. We're gonna change it into F sharp major seven, which just means from six seven six to six six six. Here's a shape for you. It's B major seven. It's gonna be D nine, G eight, B seven, and E six. And D sharp minor, D eight, G B E six. And that's it. The whole time. Here we go. D shape on six and seven. F sharp. Make it a major seven, six, six, six. The good thing about the B major seven chord is you can kind of make it, you know, as you pluck down the strings. One more time. And that's it. Sounds like it's done because the song's in the key of F sharp. Thank you so much for being here. I hope that was fun and helpful. And I will see you next time with more stuff. Goodbye.